What is up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models. How is everyone doing? I uh, hope everyone has enjoyed their holiday season. So, Merry Christmas to everyone on both YouTube and Facebook and people that I know personally. Um, I hope every everybody is enjoying their holiday season. Um, I hope everybody got their, what they want for the holidays, you know, cool gifts and things like that. And as I mentioned before, I hope the most important thing is that you guys spent your holiday uh, season with your uh, loved ones and your families and your friends, people that you, that are close to you. Um, I, of course, expended pretty well as well. Um, took some time off, going to back to work. Now I'm back, um, time off as well due to the uh, new year coming up. We'll be going into 2019 in a couple of days. I can imagine how you guys are ready for that as well. Uh, I'm not going to celebrate it like everybody else that goes to like you know some massive party or Times Square or anything like that. I've been asking many times if I've ever gone to Times Square and to know the, in all due fairness I've never done it. And I don't think I'll do it again. I, I've never ever done it ever. I would like to do it, just never got around to saying, okay, I'm going to Times Square and watching the ball drop and all that stuff. Any excuse, of course, to go to a party and have a drink is, you know, fine by me, but, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a little annoying, but you could say, I don't even know how the weather is, I don't know if it's going to be snowing, it's going to be raining, I have no idea. But I will spend it nice and quietly in my own home, relaxing, probably binge-watching a movie or something like that. Um, I just recently watched Bumblebee, and uh, I have to say, Michael Bay will do a better job if he produced. Stay in, just stay away from the chair. Just produce, let other people do better work. Because I really enjoyed Bubblebee. I really did. I know that the um, box office wasn't, you know, amazing. Um, there's that other movie that came out, The Aquaman, which I do want to see. And I heard some positive reviews as well. I haven't got a chance to see it yet. But, but Bumblebee definitely deserves, um, you know, a place in, in Transformers history as a good movie. That's my Transformers report for today. I haven't done... I was, I was been asked... Somebody asked me, will I ever um, do another um, transformer theme Gundam conversion where I can take a kit and turn it into something that looks like a Transformer? And nothing has caught my attention yet. I, I have seen a kit that, if I ever get my hands on it, maybe... Now, that's um, way, way uh, not in in my uh, in my plan of things, you could say. Um, but now, as you can see, I recently finished the real grade Saza B, and I really am enjoying how it looks. Actually, you know what? I, I just pulled this out of the um, out of the shelf. And I have to admit, this is such a beautiful kit. I really am. I mean, I, I, I will give praise to this one, yes. But, wow. This is a really beautiful... And everything's all different here. Because, remember, um, I painted the inside here, these uh, these little um, detail with the metallic, you know, like a metallic finish there. There's nothing like that here. There are these two little winglets here. So, this is a completely new kit. Or a redesign kit. Um, the chest part doesn't have these slits here, so that's one thing I'm noticing. Um, this one has these two. Oops, these two have these little winglets on the crotch area. Let me put this on. While you don't see that here, and uh, you know you you can let me see. Yeah, they're almost the same, except this one has a better intake front than this one. This is a little too small. 
and uh, all right shoulders okay I can understand the size and it doesn't have these little details here and there fine but these are okay except this one has these little um, um, crack type uh, not crack type excuse me like um, wax um, saw blade like or step like uh, connect um, designs while this one is more angular and, and straightforward and it doesn't have the, this one has the uh, the fin here while well, this one doesn't you know what <laughs> I hate to say this if this is if if there's a demand for people saying you know what I want this in 1 100 scale would would it be funny if we see Bandai making a 2.0 version Katoki of the Sazabi that, or maybe make a 2.0 that can happen you know that can happen indeed. Just, you know, ideas. Speaking of which, uh, well, you know what? No, I'll save that for later. Just let me just continue on uh, admiring my kid again. <laughs> it's been a while. And um, the one thing I'm, I'm not, yeah, like, look how beautiful this is. This came out really nice. Except that at the time when I was doing the decals, it had that weird look to it so there's no way to fix that maybe there is a way but who knows and I like I mentioned before I will put decals on the other guy because I purchased it I'm not gonna let them sit there forever and do nothing so I just want to take my time to put them on all that stuff I just need to top coat actually I am considering redoing the black going back to this guy because this has a weird finish touch to it and I think I can pop this out and redo another black tone of black maybe use um, maybe use um, regular black on this on all these guys I can remove some parts here and retouch them up again because look this thing oh my god this is this is so ugly you can actually see the the one thing you notice is that unfortunately aliclad paints are are pretty much a dust magnet for whatever reason i think maybe that's the reason why i gave up on aliclad because it just just it just maybe made me like feel uncomfortable when i when i use it, it looks nice in the beginning and then all of a sudden what the hell just happened So, I, I, I'm definitely want to retouch up this. Then, of course, I got to pro, I got to uh, top coat it, give it the gloss, and that's another thing. I, I ran out of gloss coat, uh, top top coat. So I got to go pick up um, another can or two. So once I've been, when I um, top coat it, then I'm gonna put that, no, sorry, paint repainted it for, of course, then top coat it then decal it get that out of the way so yeah this is really nice really nice I mentioned on online um, on Facebook so I asked people you know, I asked like a cool little survey just you know for shits and giggles what was your favorite kits for calendar year 2018 and actually, let me pull it up because I, I if some of you don't have much, you know, I, I think some of you don't, uh, are not part of, you know, are not on Facebook, and some of you are, but let me read you my surveys that I posted, and this was a, I, I did like five of them now, in this past few weeks, in this past week. So, let me uh, pull up one and let me read you some comments here. That way you guys can hear me now. So the first question was, uh, what was your favorite Master Grade kit that came out in 2018 and why? Um, obviously many people were saying F91, uh, the GM Command, Asteroid Turn Red, um, Master Grade Jagan was, an, uh, was one, uh, the, the dominance because it did come out this year, and I I, I didn't actually I actually wanted to say no P Bandai, but people were adding P Bandai to the list. Um, 
So the GM Dominance one, the Hazel, the Harududu. Um, the Avalanche, the the seven, the um, the full saber. But I think what what took um, notice from many people this year, and I'll add this, I'll add this P band I kid also, was the um, Stormbring Stormbringer, which just recently came out. But majority of everybody's comments was basically the Deep Striker. It was pretty much the Master Grade kit for 2018. Um, yeah, I, I've seen that up close, it's an amazing kit. I'm surprised nobody brought the Deep Striker at, at, um, at uh, GBWC in New York City. That, that would have been nice to see. But that was the kit that pretty much, all, that, that represented uh, 2018. For that was Master Grade. The second one was like, basically, what was your favorite high grade kit? And, um... A lot of people were saying, um, the G uh, of course, the um, Sananju Stein had to be their favorite. Um, it was a, basically a mix of Impulse Launcher. Um, oh, well, no, correction. I'm going to say uh, that was wrong. I apologize. Because I'm actually reading this more and I'm seeing that first one. Not the Sananju Stein, the Moon Gun then. Everybody was going completely nuts over the Moon Gun then. And that was a pretty nice kit. I haven't built it yet. I'm looking at it right now, and I'm looking into building it next year. But yeah, Moon Gundam pretty much dominated everyone's uh, comments for 2018 as their favorite high-grade kit. I didn't put down real grade because there was only, what, this, the tall geese, and what was it, and, and, and the Zaku? I think I think that was what it was. So that um, I I didn't put that in as as a, you know what was your favorite. Now I then asked what was your favorite RE or SD kit for 2000. The only RE kit that right now because there was two there was the big the big Nina, and then of course the Jag Doga. Jag Doga pretty much everybody likes. That's another kit that I want to make. And uh, for SD. Pretty much the um, cross silhouette line came out this year, and the original RX-78 too took the lead. Um, so everybody liked that one. Now for P Bandai, I did ask, what was your P favorite P Bandai? Stormbringer pretty much dominated everyone's comments, and I, I, I when I when I first I wanted to get the the GM Dominance. The Dominance looked sick, but then when I saw the Stormbringer, I said, okay, this. This is it. This is what I want to get. This is pretty much the de facto kit for this year. And then um, this was basic. Then I asked a couple of questions here, like, "What was your favorite non-Gundam kit?" You know, um, we definitely saw a lot of cool non-Gundam kits uh, this year. The 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 Manzinger kits from Bandai, the Figure Eyes kits with you know with the uh, Dragon Ball. Um, the Full Metal Panic line, some Kotobukiya kits that came out, even though it's, you know, um, the Flame Toys Optimus Prime kits, that's another one that I want to build also. Um, so it was great to see, you know, a good set of kits out there. Okay, um, from Kotobukiya, there was the uh, Ava 13. Um, Macross kits I have not been following, but, you know, I have to give credit for that because Macross kits pretty much is a, a niche in itself. And then the last survey was, what was your favorite box art? And I have to say, um, everybody had their favorites. My favorite was this. one 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 hundred scale Ginga from Space Battleship Yamato. Yeah, this was a great year and uh, for 2018. I can't wait to see what 2019 has in store for us. Okay, so, what did I get for the holidays? Um, at first I was just going to get a few things, just one or two things. And the goddamn sales killed me. Uh, before I start showing off some stuff, let me just um, explain. Uh, say that in the next few days, maybe the following week, I'm going to put some stuff on sale from, you know, 
all my all my kits because um, I'm one running out of space and I'm running out of space. So I'll be posting some stuff on Facebook and uh, to show you guys if I'm you know what kits I'm going to sell. If you guys are interested in getting them, um, I may end up putting stuff on eBay, but um, I'll put some like some sets up and if you guys are interested in some Gundam kits, um, some pre-built Gundam kits. All right, so the first thing um, I'm going to show off is what I got from Barnes, Barnes and Noble, and Barnes and Noble has been consistent with sales, specifically those with you know when you get a uh, sometimes they'll show off a 20% off coupon or a 15% coupon, and um, they had a 25% coupon a few weeks ago, and I saw this and I said all right, let me go to Barnes and Noble see what they had. There were a lot of kits there that I already have. Um, some were, were were kits that I said, you know what, I would not buying, uh, mind buying a, this kit a second time and maybe doing something different. But in, in the end, I said, you know what, I'm the type of person who likes to try something new and show off something new. And I caved in and I purchased this big boy, the F-91 Gundam um, from the F-91 animated series. This is the 2.0 version. I kept on seeing the 1.0 version every now and then on a sale, and I don't know. I don't know what, why I never bought it. I just maybe I never got into it. Not because of its size, because it's relatively around the same, maybe a little bit bigger than the um, Victory Gundam. I don't, I don't. I didn't buy it because I thought it was going to be like a Victory Gundam type setup. Maybe it is. I have no idea. But it is different. It is new. Um, try it out and see how it is who knows you know and for like with the 25 percent off plus 10 percent off membership i got it at a good deal 35 percent off um i went to ridgefield hobbies obviously to pick up some paint and stuff like that and uh, i picked up they had they started they got themselves a stock of gundam kits and some regular non-gundam kits yeah and I saw this one. I said, "Let me get something different, completely off the beaten path." And I picked this guy up for fifteen dollars. This is the Marvel's Iron Man three one twenty four scale kit. Um, it's a model kit, as it says here, and this is by a company called Dragon. They're known for making, you know, other um, kits like tanks and ships and stuff, stuff like that. I'm actually thinking of buying a tank, but that's a conversation for another day. This one's the Mark 35 Red Snapper, as you can see there. That's the this one right here. He had this one there uh, at the store. I don't know if it's still there. If you guys go to Richfield and plan to pick it up, over to Gundam Planet. Picked up a few things here and there. Uh, yeah, I kind of went a little too much overboard, but let me just break it down to some small to big. So the smallest thing I got here was the GBN guard frame, GM's mobile suit. I was really interested in this kit and how it looked in the show. Um, it's like a, a kind of like the uh, HIMOC. Um, it's generic, it, even though it has the it has different heads and it has a different gun system. They didn't come out with any like customizable weaponry of any type except for that Well, no, no, you know like sometimes they come with like that side weapon that you could put on But this one was is totally by itself as a soldier unit type thing or a guard unit. I Have some ideas with this specifically with the recent amount of um, um, You know Gundam parts that I got the campaign parts. I'm gonna try something like that. try something with this I also got this, and I'm, I'm actually never a big fan of the female-type robots. That is a niche for everybody who likes that. I mean, Kota Bakia pretty much has a, a massive line of that. And clearly Bandai has it as well with the Bill Divers line and the Bill Fighters line. So, seeing this, I said, eh, you know what? It is pretty cool as, as, a, as a robot type character so I picked it up for whatever reasons mobile doll Sarah from Bill Divers 
Yeah. I it is unique. I kinda like this. I, I like this more than this. You I know there's a guys who are like that, you know, to prettier up, but I'm more of the me mechanical type person and I like this. And I'm gonna see customization wise what I'm gonna do with it. I have an idea. Uh that will be for a later date, of course. Let's take these two down. Now the next kit I got would be uh, something that I, I didn't expect to get or didn't expect they were going to release. And I didn't see no notification. I think I've seen... Um, what was it? Um, what do you call it? Tag Hobbies talk about it. And... Now many people are talking about this, and I'm hoping to show this off later on. This is one. This is an expensive kit, but this will this will supplement another kit that I'm going to be building soon. The Type 89 Base Jabber. This is an RE100 kit, and the Base Jabber is, of course, from uh, Charged Counterattack. But you could, I think it's been used in in um, in Unicorn. Actually, to tell you the truth, does it refer to it as unicorn or or Charles counterattack? Not much of um, pictures other than what you see here, but clearly you can put the master grade Jagan on top of it or below it if you want to really go crazy over with this. I have the 144 scale version of the base jabber which I built and painted a while back and I'm definitely going to be building and painting this with my Jagan. So yeah. And then the biggest thing I got, and oh my god this thing is huge, I don't know why I bought this but I, I saw this and I, I, I kind of caved in. I know many of you guys are caving in for this as well. The RX-9A Narrative Gundam Apex from the Gundam Narrative and animated series or movie. Movie, I think, because we saw 20 minutes of it and can't wait for the rest. But this is actually a really cool mobile armor type setup. You get the whole feature of the mobile armor followed by the narrative itself. So, yeah. Uh, I don't see myself building this kit anytime soon. Not yet, because I haven't figured it out yet. But I got it, and I'll be working on it next year. That's that's a definite. That's a definite. All right, we're not done yet. I got myself Hobby Link Japan box here. It's a big box. Again, the sales. You guys are killing me. So, Gundam had, I mean, Hobbling Japan had their sales at, uh, this past week or two. Me and Prime 92 were just going nuts over it. I, I forgot what she got. I think it's on, she just posted her something special. So, see what we got here. And there were things that I needed and things that I saw and I said, okay, cool. Um, I just don't know if this will work or not. So, um, I see a lot of packages, so we're going to break this down and see what we got. Ah. This way. Okay. Let's do this. There we go. So we'll just grab the first few things here. Alright, so we have some alphabet white decals in different shades. This is from High Q Parts. Cool. We have some winter snow digital camo. Again from High Q Parts. Another set of High Q Parts. This is gray decals. So this will be cool for like. This is actually not HiQ. This is another brand. But oh no, it is HiQ. It's right here. Just didn't see that here for whatever reason. But it's actually referring to one 100 scale. If you want to put on one 100 scale kits. I don't know. 
This can be different, but I don't know. Another set here of digital white. This is now pure white digital camo. I can't wait to try this out, but I have to figure out how to use this. If anybody has tried this, please send me a link uh, either on my Facebook page or on my YouTube page on examples on this. All right, so we've got 100 scale dark gray decals. These are nice, very nice. Some numbers and letters here that I don't know of, but these are really nice. I can't wait to try those. We have Indigo Blue from Q. Beautiful. Now, I've been using, um, on my on my spray booth, I've been using um, um, those uh, Brillo, not Brillo pads, but like, um, they're pads that you can use to, to clean your dishes. It's like a green type, scrubber type thing. And I've been using that as a filter. Um, I got sick and tired of using it because the thing has, you know, it's a hard time to put it up. But I purchased more filters for my Mr. S uh, Super Booth. And there's something there that I need to show you guys. And say, done. Some massive 400 grit sanding sticks. This one is a mold plate, which I saw examples on how to cut them and use them on kits. So that's going to be cool to get, use this. These are flat bottom cut cutter bits. And how this is supposed to work is you can actually make holes from one, di one di um, millimeter diameter to three millimeter diameters. Can't wait to try this. We got a cutter and cutting protector, and you, you know, obviously, this is for for measuring the angles. But then you have a line there you can actually cut, so you can't you can't wait to use that. This is a soft bank sanding sponge. I need another one because the other ones I had were were already wore, worn out. This is 400 grit. I got some MSG. Um, these, these little machine gun like, weaponry. Now I bought myself a new drill bit because the one that I had, um, pin vise, I mean, not drill bit, pin vise. And this is from Wave, so this is interchangeable. Um, don't know what the dimensions are, but that's kind of cool to try this out. I also bought a stainless T square, but it's small. I didn't. I thought it was thought it was big, but small is good. Because sometimes I had a T square that's huge. You definitely need a small one to, to walk around. And then I bought this. This is actually for my spray booth, but I don't know if this will fit this because I see this is a different spray booth than what I have. Then again, it is clean. So whether this will work on my spray booth or not, I have no idea. Alright, continuing with the box. Sorry, this video is being a little long, so I apologize. I bought this massive plow board. This is three millimeters of thickness. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's a big plow board. I also got this... Oh, spare bottles. Here we go. So, these are GO3N spare bottles in a recipe box. This is basically bottles where you can mix paint. I had. I have one, but I definitely want to start mixing some paint and trying some different ideas. And this is perfect for this. The last things I got are model kits. Um, I got this uh, Mecha Collide Starfighter type craft from um, Yamato. That's kind of cool. And what's kind of cool about this is when I was looking at it online, is this thing has a lot of um, a lot of things on it, a lot of weaponry. Can't wait to try it. 
I may do just a street build on this. Who knows? And then for kits, um, I got myself the Blue Destiny Unit 3 exam version. That's pretty nice. And I kind of like... I kind of like how it is, and part of that is when I get this, I was actually saying to myself, that will look good with that camo, that digital camera on this. Let's see, let's see what we can do. And then finally, I got this one, the Zaku 2 F2 mass production type. This is, of course, the uh, e e um, EFS, e I'm sorry, EFSF version. Um, but I definitely like to different, do a different color tone for this and try it out. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, even though I spent a lot of money on this, where the fuck are my Kit Kats? Yeah, Hi Valent Japan. This is like the second time you say you're going to offer something and you haven't sent shit. I want my fucking Kit Kats. <laughs> Actually, I really don't give a crap. But that's alright. No big deal. So, yeah, these are all the stuff that I got for the holiday season. Wow. So, right now, I'm going to begin doing a few things here and there. Um, i got to redo this desk because I'm not liking how the two lamps are on one side. And I have the small one on the right, on the left here. Don't seem to get nice lighting coverages, so I'm going to redo my desk again so it looks a little bit better. After the holidays, I'm going to begin building some, some kits, um, some straight build kits that I will work on. Uh, I think I'm going to start with building the uh, narrative clear type since it's not going to be painted. You know, why would you want to paint a clear type? Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to build it so you guys can see it but I am going to be working on kits uh, in anticipation for Mosquito Con and uh, even though I have this and uh, Sazabi be done it's not going to be the only kit that's coming with me I'm going to be building some other kits uh, and I want to give you a little bit of a timeline of how I'm going to do this so for the next three months uh, I'm going to concentrate on three kits. The first kit that I'm going to be working on will be one of my favorites that I have right now. The 1-1000 scale uh, Ginga from Space Battleship Yamato. That one will be painted and LED'd up. Um, and we'll discuss that, you know, soon. Because, if by well, for those of you who see this box art, you guys pretty much can see that there's a lot of illumination here. And I'm going to really figure out how to do this I have the uh, you know the lighting exper uh, expertise you could say and I'm gonna try to get it to look exactly like this so that will be that kit the next kit I will definitely be working on is going to be the one 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 hundred scale Jagan that was one of my kits that I was actually thinking of making uh, last, um, you know, this calendar year, 2018. But I didn't, I didn't see that I was going to be able to make it in time. Jagan will be built, and I'm going to customize it. I have an idea on what to do with it. Um, pretty much, I want to make it look like maybe one of the mobile suits from the Unicorn series. I don't know which one yet, but we'll figure this out soon enough. Soon enough. Uh, but right after the Jagan, I'm building the Stormbringer. That one it is a gorgeous kit on its own, and I, I want to do it justice. I haven't opened it up to look at it yet. I'm going to look at it soon. Then we'll definitely, you know, talk about how we're going to introduce this but this will be for the show and then the last kit that I'm going to be customizing and painting uh, will be the Dreadnought from the Space Battleship Yamato as well um, that one I th that should be easy and quick considering it's a smaller kit not too much detail but I want to make it nice and cool in between I may end up building a fifth kit I don't know which one yet um, Maybe uh, I've been floating around looking at the uh, the the Jinx Striker, either looking at that, or actually I want to go back and 
build a classic kit like a, a Zaku. I have a Zaku kit here and there. I have from the Origin series. I have from the uh, Universal Century series. Um, I want to build one of those and bring it to the show as well and detailing it up. But I have not figured that out yet. So these are things that I want to build and, and work on. And see how it comes out. You guys will all be seeing this firsthand, and uh, I'll be expecting your opinions and things like that. Um, I'm also going to be working on urine, um, my urine review of all the kits that I've made, so you'll be seeing that next year, on uh, maybe the end, at the end of this week. You'll be seeing that. I also have a, I also have a feeling we're going to be getting on another, you know, big announcement from Bandai. It always happens, usually within the the first week of the year. Last year we got a, a major announcement with the um, with a lot of kits, especially the uh, Master, oh, the high grade uh, Jagan, oh, sorry, the high grade Leo, which everybody was going nuts over. So we may be getting another announcement soon. I haven't heard nothing yet. Maybe it's going to be quiet. Who, who knows? But I will say this. I'm kind of smelling a 2.0 the calendar year 2019. I'm just going to say that. We're going to get a nice 2.0 kit. What will it be? Well, we'll have to wait until 2019 rolls in. So, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching my channel. I appreciate your support on my channel. I appreciate all your comments, both positive and negative, both informative and jokingly. Um, I wish everyone a great new year. With that being said, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching. And stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great day.